the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. In this video, I want to talk about PayPay, which is the Chinese version of Pepe. And it seems like anybody in the who's who in crypto seems to be accumulating and large influencers talking about this particular meme coin. All right, guys. So we're going to talk about PayPay today. All right, guys. Uh, again, this is the Chinese version of Pepe. If we look at the market cap for Pepe, right? Pepe and Solana, which I've talked about on the channel before. If we go to Coin Market Cap and we get up Pepe, obviously everybody watching the channel would be aware of the Pepe meme coin on Ethereum. The Chinese Pepe or Pepe that I'm talking about also is on Ethereum. There is one on Solana. It's a very small one, but we're talking about the one on Ethereum, specifically the one that's sitting at 141 uh, million in market cap at the moment okay guys but the original pepe by matt fury is sitting at 5.1 million dollars okay you can see the chart right here chart looks very bullish this is probably going to do well as well i mean it's already at 5 billion so you know in a comparison would me personally would i invest right now in pepe or chinese pepe uh pepe okay i don't have any chinese pepe at the moment right or this pepe uh just so you're aware, right? But I am geared towards the Chinese Pepe. All right, guys. But the original Pepe is sitting at $5.1 million in market cap. A lot of people are talking about, like, Matt Fury is the meta for this cycle. Obviously, we've seen it in previous cycles. We've seen Shiba Inu. We've seen Dogecoin, which are also going to do well. Uh, with those meme coins doing well, you're going to see things like Pepe, uh, things like this Chinese Pepe do extremely well as well but they're much lower in market cap especially the chinese pepe but not only that we're probably going to see a huge run uh in the chinese market when it comes to cryptocurrency and bitcoin a lot of people seem to forget the news not long ago uh you know uh the trading was i think it was crypto trading was legalized in china now so you know there's been lots of rumors lots of different things going on with you know uh, crypto getting banned in china in previous years and so on okay guys but i think that we see a huge run in the chinese meta um specifically this particular meme coin you're going to see other chinese versions of meme coins like landwu uh andy uh, the chinese version of andy um and, and things like that all right guys but i'm talking about the market leader all right guys and a lot of times we go chasing these beta plays right but a lot of the times just parking your money into the number one meme coins like the alpha play meme coins on various networks like solana ethereum uh base chain like we see base brett you see the land wolf which is on solana now doing really well i think that's like a hundred million in market cap if we look at uh wolf on solana uh we talked about andy also on ethereum uh not wolf school okay i look at a lot of meme coins guys but if we go to land wolf on solana which will be this one this one is sitting around 100 okay it's down to 79 million but again you know blue chip meme coin in my opinion right these are blue chips meme coins in the matt fury uh narrative right so pepe chinese pepe why i'm talking about this today is because a lot of people are talking about this project and we haven't really seen the price react in a way. I mean, obviously, this does look like a nice chart, right? Okay, we are on the one hour. But we haven't seen a parabolic run out of this meme coin yet. Um, you know, yes, of course, it would have been great if you got in, um, you know, low. Like, a lot of the influencers, a lot of people that are talking about it. In fact, off, off the previous pullback, um, off the previous pullback on this particular project right it's actually up uh or did go up around 700 percent um so you could have had an entry there if you didn't get in from the beginning right but that being said right now it is in a nice range but i do see it coming down a little bit uh, and that would be great if it does come down a little bit if it came down to this level right here obvious support zone right here at around you know what's it five six zeros and uh, a one uh and a one six uh, that would be a great uh, level to be accumulating this particular token. In fact, if we do a measured move, that's like a 50% pullback 
from now so if this pull back to around 70 million anywhere between 70 and 80 million that could be a great buying zone and of course if it comes lower than that that will be an amazing buying zone but i think we see a huge run out of the chinese paper trending hot number two at the moment and it has been trending for a while obviously you will see a lot of other things trending as well uh, specifically to do with Donald Trump and the political fire after what happened, um, you know, last week with uh, Donald Trump, the uh, attempt, I'll say. Um, and you see other Matt Fury based meme coins and, you know, just meme, meme coins that are trending right now. A lot of them are going to be Matt Fury based and political fire. OK, obviously, you've got your OGs like Mog as well. Um, that's maybe one that we should talk about on the channel as well, because I think. The strategy going forward should be to, if you're making profits in, you know, obviously you want to get a good position in these blue chip uh, uh, mean coins, right? But they are, they're very high cap. So, you know, the amount that this could go up now, if this, obviously, if this 10x is, this is going to be about $1.4 billion. But, you know, what's the potential of this going to a $14 billion? There is the potential for that, especially if you look at Pepe, original Pepe sitting at $5 billion. That's only a 2 to 3x for it to go to $15 billion, right? And it'll probably go a lot higher than a 2 to 3x. It might go a 10x or even a 15x, possibly even a 20x. I don't see Pepe going 100x to, you know, 500 billion. It could go to 50 billion plus. Okay, we saw Shiba Inu go to 60 billion plus, or, or was it 40? Okay, between 40 and 60 billion plus, right? So, could the Chinese Pepe, obviously this one's much lower, a lot of people more will take the risk into this um, as like a leverage play, play on Pepe, because if Pepe pumps, Chinese Pepe will probably pump, right? So, this one, could this potentially go 100x, right? Um, I wouldn't say a 5 uh, a, a, a thousand x maybe this could go a 500 x right you, you just never know right but i think a 10 to 100 x on the is on the cards for a chinese pepe potentially so that will put this at about 14 billion okay but at minimum uh i think you should aim for a 10 x on something like this that, which is sitting at you know a one a 140 million at the moment i think it's very likely that this goes over 100 million if it goes under over 100 million uh 100 million <laughs> i'm losing myself if this this is very likely this this goes to a billion so if this goes to a billion any mean coin that normally gets to a billion it normally goes a lot higher than a billion okay so it could go to a three to five billion and even more okay potentially that 14 billion so i'm not making a price prediction i'm just saying there's a lot of x's to be made in this and in my opinion this is kind of like a safer play to some of the other uh you know alpha plays especially the beta plays when it comes to uh meme coins right so i think this one is definitely worth taking a look at and i think that we should definitely make more videos about this project because who wants to miss out on the next pepe people say what is the next pepe or well, everyone was saying that a few months ago the next pepe the next shib and so on i think that chinese pepe or pepe however you pronounce it is the next pepe um we also talked about another one on the channel called uh biao biao is is biao right let's let's get up biao right so this is one that i talked about on the channel also a chinese meme coin so i have talked about the fact that i believe the chinese mayor is going to do well before right this one's sitting at six million at the moment down from its all-time highs i see this one doing well as well because this is like the main meme in china this is like the number one meme in china uh biao right um so let's let's just show you this biao king so this is like a panda with a man's face so we talked about this on the channel before so i have said in the past that i believe that the chinese meta could potentially do well in this next uh bull cycle right but it seems like pepe chinese pepe is kind of leading the this is the alpha play on the chinese meme coins okay guys let's just get up the website which we haven't done for the sake of the video right and um yeah let's pull this up on coin market cap as well so pay pay and this is on several exchanges already okay so basically you see the trend happening you see that the exchanges are getting in right let's have a look at all the exchanges we've got gate.io mexc l bank bitmark um xt and so on right so could this get to qcoin binance maybe even coinbase one day right 
I mean, OG Pepe is not even on Coinbase yet, obviously. Um, but, you know, could this get to uh, Pepe, um, uh, uh, Coinbase, right? There's the potential for that. All right, guys. But, yeah, Pepe, I think that there's a potential br uh, bright future for this particular meme coin. All you see is an uptrend right here. I do believe, again, that it's going to come down. Okay, guys. Um, it is going to come down and the whole market is seeing like, you know, a lot less volume at the moment. OK, scary times in the market. But I think any scary dip you see on this Chinese Pepe, right, will be a buying opportunity. And that's just my two cents on it. We'll talk about this a little bit more. But 34,000 holders probably agree with me on this. If you do, let me know what you think in the comments. But that's really all I've got for you in this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tick the little bell for notifications. Um, I was going to try and get the content out more frequently. I have been pretty busy and pretty deflated with everything that's been going on in the market. I haven't been making much videos, right? But I want to get back into the swing of things. I want to, you know, uh, start uh, posting consistently on the channel as well. Talk about these mean coins. Let's find those gains, um, even in the hard times. All right, guys, let's do it. Um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.